Hey everybody, I'm back. It's your boy Crispy T. Thank you for keeping on lock over here. And um, I've got an important update. You know, funny enough, um, how it happened was because of the SMS that I got from my telephone. No, no, not my telephone. Sorry, my cell phone service provider, which is MTN, one of the big ones down here in South Africa for all my international. Fa um, not fans, I'm so sorry to say, my viewers, I'm so sorry to say, I don't want to start sounding like I'm haughty or just gloating about myself as such, but um, if you are a fan, then I, I do welcome that, but um, yes, MTN is just one of the service providers over here in terms of um, the telecom telecommunication and network provisions over here in South Africa, and um, particularly in the mobile, mobile communication sector, um, and um, that's just... Uh, one of the big ones over here, there's like three or four big ones now, but um, I forgot exactly who else is also in the whole grid, but but this is, um, what this is about is um, the launching, as you see, Go Digital of Go Digital Network or Go Digital TV, which is a digital decoder or digital satellite television provider. Now... I'm linking it to episode three of Call of a Revenue Spirit because what I do believe and one thing I said and when I discussed the previous uh, on the previous on the first update, right, when I spoke about that um, multi-choice is still sort of um, play and cow tailing about the actual plan of collecting the TV licenses. And I think this is just the B part. And um, even though, yes, I have it as a prophecy update and I stand by what um what I was shown by God and it was a, a vision really and just um, about this whole at DSTV then wanting to hike up their prices and then basically just making sure that if you or the SABC or and which had nothing to do with DSTV by the way but um, if the SABC basically now runs through the DSTV for one example and MultiChoice is the owner, the parent company of DSTV, which is a digital satellite television network or paid network or bouquet of television services. And uh, they are the they basically ran a monopoly since um, well in 1986 they were the the only one which is uh, Mnet, which is a MultiChoice thing, and it grew it grew on the back end of mainly a successful campaigns on the sports front and also mainly their children's television can you believe it which is um used to have a service called ktv which went out of service about 10 years ago now which is quite a sad thing but anyway i grew up on that i was one of these so-called yeah privileged children with um as many of my contemporaries call me so whatever I, I'm, not, I'm not gonna apologize for that but in any case um it, it, it is and to be honest it is a little bit of a luxury product and uh, not to be insensitive to anyone who couldn't afford it shame but um at the same time don't shame me because of it you know what i mean um but uh, the, the, yeah so it, it was a little bit of a uh, luxury product and Yes, and it was for certain people who sort of had the money for just to get a little bit of an expansion and and access to um, more of the, the international variety in terms of the TV viewing. So that's what DSTV was really all about. But the thing is, um, if you consider what um, when the ANC came into power is that they were supposed to, they were mandated, right? And there was what they were supposed to do and in, in line with the international environment and also in terms of demand, in terms of content and acquiring content from overseas and also ensuring that our industry as such as the film production and the local TV, well, TV, entertainment, um, media services and all that stuff around here and in the realm of entertainment, was also of an international standard in terms of exporting content to the rest of the world. And unfortunately, a big, big cog in the situation was, was ensuring that they overly protected multi-choice from competition and competitive factors. And in the long run, it's, um, they've, uh, pretty much limited the growth potential of multi-choice because things have changed. The landscape has changed quite a lot. And especially with the um, like uh, things like Netflix and Amazon Prime and all those kind of um, 
well, I forgot what they call them, those online streaming television things or whatever, because um the consumption is not the same anymore. And multi-choice is just struggling um, in terms of trying. Even their, they have a service called Showmax, which is also technically um, for that, for, for people who sort of, I don't have Showmax, by the way, considering I'm Mr. Privilege or according to my com- contemporaries, I didn't even have the DSTV premium bouquet here at home strangely enough um but anyway it's um not that it's even value for money because um even though i think i've I've also discussed before that yes i'll I'll be venturing on my own and be able to do my own things and why i've got so much uh knowledge or sort of so much insight into this is because i'm also in the entertainment industry albeit that i'm on the musical side of things but i do keep in touch with what happens and and um and also in terms of the tv front because there's a lot of integration with music and you tell me i mean i mean think about it watch you watch a lot of if you watch any television or any program anything you can see that um you can always hear sorry to say that there's always music accompanying it, you know, whether it's it's their own independent thing or whether they're licensing other things. So it's quite important to keep abreast of what also, hap- also happens in related industries, right? And especially when you are in a particular realm. So we also support as far as musicians and and um, entertainers in, in this particular sphere of music producers, whatever. We also do help with the um, film side of it and the video side of things and yeah, we there's a cross integration also on the other side where you see music videos as well. So it's it's quite important that we all work in tandem and understand what the landscapes and the pressures are in tandem as well. So in this particular instance, is that it's about more about um, what they're going to do next um, as far as multi choice and the state, the Department of Education with this go digital thing, because. Um, I've I've linked the link, uh, well, an article in the description box, so you find out more about what this entails. And the main thing here that stands out is that the service in itself is is um is about um the free to air, right? But um, here's the thing, though, and one thing people must also be aware is that terrestrial TV is going to be done away with, as in this old analog um transmission and in terms of um, people are not going to be able to watch any sort of tv without going at least to digital or also getting onto broadband or something for the netflixes and all that other stuff so this is what is the one part of it and the poor now um they have a threshold where it's like if you if you can show proof that um your total combined income with an for a household is below 3200 rand you don't you will get it for free so okay now that's that's fine that's all grand and dandy i'm not um i i do like the fact that yes the poor people and people are just trying to come up in the world and and getting everything i, I thought about and also are considered whenever um when it comes to television or the or not being excluded out of a particular commodity because um remember here i'm just a messenger of god here yeah, you know and god loves the poor and like if you see in the in the um in the bible and also if you look at the situation with um with uh, ruth and and naomi and also how they had to go over to a new yeah and um go over to the part of israel whatever and um I hope I got that right, but uh, I'm not too sure exactly. I'm so sorry about that. I'm I'm a bit dry on that one. Um, where Ruth and Naomi had to go over and go to a part of the land, or where where God also had to provide for them, in in the sense that He put it into the whoever the governor's heart that um that the poor people should uh, get a certain section of the agricultural output. Whereas after they've done grazing or whatever, or harvesting, or sorry, yeah, or harvesting, whatever, that a certain section is left for the poor people so that they don't have to beg whenever they need food. So it's just one of those things that it's also due consideration for that when I'm talking about poor people. And I also believe that business and for, and, uh, and also not just to be left to the politicians, also start considering certain segments that not everyone is equally as fortunate. You know, we don't have all equal fortunes. And it did the same thing as well with when he put the 
children of Israel and brought them to the promised land of there in Canaan and also ensure that they must not forget about the poor as well, that the certain um that there's a certain take and a certain things that they need to put aside to consider and also be, they must give generously to the poor. It doesn't matter what situation it is. Those who have must always consider the have nots because yes, yeah, sometimes yeah, certain people are in different phases of their life. So even me, myself, I've also had to um, sort of take it from, it's been very tough for me in eight years, but I was like, you know, maybe an overgiver so much as that as per se i don't really like asking for people for things but i've had to get used to to being able to say listen i don't have can you please help me out and um you know and just be dependent on people's gratitude and sorry well me being gratitude but people's generosity so it was something that's quite um quite a thing and also when jesus also did that the same thing that um people must always be accounted for when when he went over and got his disciples that they were also living off people's generosity that knowing that he was saying that god will always work ahead and that's why he gave the example on the mount sinai that people um that you should not worry for anything and this is so this is, i'm not knocking that uh, gesture at all where is my problem here my problem is um not so much about the government doing that and trying to um yes make provision for the the poor problem is this who is going to fund that and the thing is they've just not shown any source of any mode of um creativity or innovation to get the industry up they've protected multi-choice for so long and there's been sort of implications if you looked at the state capture and everything and and all of those for those executives in the tv realm who were aiding multi-choice and multi-choice was also um in the capture with uh with a certain sabc and they were always working together and also when amazon prime was supposed to enter here in south africa um, it has to go through the dstv product same thing with netflix is that the dstv was complaining and netflix also has to now now um th think about being regulated when they're not even in the whole digital uh, landscape they are purely online you know and the same thing with amazon prime so sorry i'm sorry for my crackling voice and amazon prime so it, it, it's, it's a bit of a sticky situation and one that is um the one one needs to pay particular attention to because it's something that needs to be considered and also from a sustainability point of view that um yes terrestrial tv has been out uh, for a while and here's the funny thing in back in like 1995 and i was still a, a child there i was think i was about i wasn't even 12 as yet i was about 11 and and these are the things that i was uh, aware of is that and and i and i'm just going to talk to my younger audiences that what you should know is that back in the days there was a digital migration right plan by the sabc and they dished it for like a good 20 odd years so now here we are, and um, we, we we are in now what? Okay, so twenty six years since. I mean, you know, for even longer than the twenty years that I just um, said, and it was something that should have been done back then, but they decided to abandon it because it was cheaper or whatever it is for multi choice, or they kind of saw no, no, no. Um, they'll they'll raise the standard of living somehow, and everybody will just catch up to that. And you know, they excluded the poor then. But all of a sudden now they want to remember all oh, 25 years. Oh, yeah, but the poor. So, you see, that's where my issue is. And this is where I'm starting to think. And now I'm starting to get into the whole thing that it makes it more plausible that they're going to be asking people to be paying their SABC, um, wh uh, whatever, sorry, their SABC license fees from years gone by even though that the license fees licensing fees and i'm not saying that people should not pay them or anything and i'm not that that's not me because i mean you know um even in the bible it says no your taxes you must pay for and also um something that um even uh, in romans 13 where the apostle paul said something about yes taxes must be paid for and even god himself said it when he spoke to moses that where it was about that they must remember that the taxes must be paid as soon as the Israelites got over to the promised land. So 
that's not even about that. And Jesus himself also, something that he replicated when he said to um, those people trying him was like, you see what's on this coin, pay to Caesar what is Caesar's and pay to God what is God. So he was also referring to when they're asking him about the taxes situation. So it, 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 this is not even about that. So I would never try and advocate that people should do to go on to that and all that. But unfortunately, the issue is what were they doing with the tax money and the, what about all the funds that were unaccounted for and were also hemorrhaged and not even um, used and utilized and were dispersed in other areas and in where be to their malfeasances or to their embezzlement, whatever it is. And why is it not being done and not the why is the retrieval and the recovery of those funds not being utilized and being factored into this before trying to get people to pay sort of license fee licensing fees even on things like our um on on online tv which is a different space to um what the sabc does because if you don't watch the sabc and you do not um even need to um well s sort of listen to the the radio or yeah or any of that or sabc radio park or anything of any station from there you know why are you paying this uh licensing fee you know as, as far as the sabc is concerned now i can understand the taxes and everything else they're going into the whole uh, sphere of the digital or the communication department and everything else and the the regulator which is ICASA in this sense and why is you know there's just so many things and there's so many parastatal states and so many people just um in this whole sort of um network here in terms of the public sphere and the public works in terms of procuring digital services or analog services or anything to do with broadcasting and just too many too many in, uh, institutions around here and the administration and the effectiveness is just zero, you know, and it just makes no sense. So it's a bit sad um, that um, we've come to this and we get to this point where there's so many sustainability issues because even in itself, I know, and I'm also in the, uh, you know, music uh, game. And I will say this and I'll say this much that even the dig digital satellite television in itself is it's just... Um, yeah, it's um, it's a bit of a dying breed, particularly that people are now on their devices and their mobile devices. So what do you do next? You know, what happens to the uh, broadband and things like the fiber optics and things, you know, of that nature, because that's where everything is transiting now. And also, it's particularly that people are now choosing their own content. So free to air is... It's just like people just don't care anymore. You know, they kind of want to choose their content. So a lot of sustainability issues here st stand here. And again, it's like they're trying to rehash plans from more than 20 years ago, 25, more than 25 years ago. And here we stand. Here we stand. We, 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 we rewrite here as citizens having to pay for this and for this in ineffectiveness and um, maladministration for the most part. So with that said, guys, um, this was just my, of course, it's just my take and my opinion, and I'm sorry to prolong this, but I'm just hoping that people just hear what I have to say and actually are taking in what I'm saying here in its full, yeah, in its full proportion, I should put, uh, I should put it that way. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to sign this out because I feel like I'm just rambling and I'm rambling on and I can talk for quite a bit and that's just who I am as a person. So, but um, as long as I've enriched your experience and everything and also, yes, all glory to God for making me who I am so that uh, I can give any sort of feedback or any sort of um, insight to anything but um, please give me your comments and let me know your thoughts so that we can talk it out and chop it up i'll get back to you much love and peace your boy crispy t peace